Good morning. Good morning, Tessa. Uh, good morning. Uh, we're gonna go out to the desert. Do you like that? We'll go out to the desert. Thank goodness we could just pick up on a Thursday morning and just head on out just because. Time to get us some go-go juice. Dutch Brothers. shower, but I definitely think we need some gas. <laughs> all right, we're all topped off. I think we just need to pick up some lunch for our day and uh, we'll be good to go. Hi, welcome to Irish. Go ahead and order whenever you're ready. Okay, I'd like to get uh, two euros, uh, one roast beef and one Greek. Um, geez, oh, that, that's okay, thank you. Okay, would you like anything else? Uh, no thanks. Alright, sorry about that. No problem. Well, that's a bummer. I was hoping to get a couple of those Arby's Euros, but apparently they didn't have any tzatziki sauce. So they're gonna offer us a mayonnaise or ranch to go with it. It seemed kind of weird. I guess we'll have to find a grocery store and uh, find some other lunch. So it goes. Well, when all else fails, there's always Walmart. <laughs> Bananas and chicken, it's lunch. Some old mining cabin. I think we should stop and check it out. It looks like it used to be two separate cabins, but they did an add on. You can see here's a space in between. quiet out here. At least you get the room with the view, right? Take a look at this screen. Even without this big hole right here, you can see that the mesh is pretty wide. I don't even know if it'd keep a fly out. Oh, I always love this. This is so cool. You can see they use the bottom of old tins to patch up any kind of holes in the side of the, the home. There's Copenhagen. This is a uh, tobacco or snuff probably is what it was. And up there's Hills Brother Coffees. And this right here was uh, an old tobacco tin, like a cigarette tin, excuse me. <laughs> Oh, 
was pretty cool. I always love finding neat mines and cabins when you're not really expecting to find anything. But now it's uh, time to head on out. You can see over here to the left, there's some of the ruins from the old mine. Not much left. find something. Question is, is where to start? Looks like somebody's been really digging over here. So, um, say we give that place a look first. Should we get some tools? So a while ago, we heard about this place in Northern Nevada that apparently had a whole bunch of fossils on it. And everyone was super secretive about where it was, where you could find it, or if you could even find it. People who did know where it was said, don't ask, they won't tell you. So uh, we went on a mission for a while now to try to find this place, and we finally found it. It's hard to believe that we're what, maybe like 5,000 feet above sea level? And this whole hillside that we're on was once at the bottom of an ocean or a sea. Wow, look at that view out there. But here up on this hill, or up on this mountain range, there's these aquatic creatures. You can see even here, any rock that you find, there's little fossils. These are called ammonites. They're kind of like a modern day mo uh, nautilus. You see little bits right here. They're just everywhere, all kinds of fossils. And if you find a rock like this with a split in it, sometimes, ah, look at that. First try. You get lucky and you find some more ammonites. And that's what we're doing. Wow, that was a good one. I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> nice of nature to uh, give me a prop that actually worked. No. Nope. There's kind of one right there, but that one's, that one's a pretty decent one. So it was a lot of work, but we found a few of these guys. Some of them just scattered on the ground, others breaking open rocks, as you saw. Some of the best ones, like look at this piece. This is one that Cindy had found. It just kind of plopped out of the rock after she cracked it open. And you can see here, this is just an imprint. Looks like it's been weathering outside for a while. These other pieces you can see are pretty well defined. More pieces. This one here, I split open and you can see it's a pretty big one if I had gotten it out. Other types of, I don't know if they're crustaceans or some kind of other aquatic life in and amongst the ammonites. Here's a whole 
grouping of them. Bigger piece right there. And then look at this guy. Knock this one out. Not a whole piece, but it was a pretty big ammonite. Good stuff. So that was fun. Being able to come out in the middle of the desert and actually find something like fossils. Always a great day out in Nevada.